In the last video, we made a simple batch report, but let's make this more dynamic by going to our web elements. I'm going to put a timestamp picker down, and this is going to be our start time. I'm going to set this up so it always looks back at the last 10 minutes for a completed batch. For a start time, we're going to do another timestamp picker, and the second one is going to represent the end time. So whatever falls in between the start time and end time for completed batches, we're going to populate a combo box in the web. So let's put a combo box on the screen here. And we're going to call this combo box batch selector. And we want to display data as a list of tag values from our historian. We do want to specify to grab values that are within the start time and end time by selecting a calculated time period. Now we'll go to our historian and we'll go to our batch number which represents the unique batch IDs completed. And when the user makes their selection we want to put an action button down which is going to refresh our report. So I'll put a caption on refresh and select the action to refresh our report. So we're almost done here. We've got to go to each one of our dynamic objects, for example, batch ID. And instead of saying, look at the last one batch, we're going to go to an absolute batch ID. And we're going to make sure that's what is ever in our combo box to correctly update these variables. So I'll go through quickly here and I'll modify all objects in this report that can be updated. So all the objects in our table, our chart, as well as our statistical table, we want to make sure it changes to the absolute batch ID. So once we've got that, I'm going to go ahead and run our project. And once the service is launched, we're going to go into our web portal, go to the page, and as you can see, we've got our timestamp picker. Now within the last 10 minutes, here are my completed batches. I'll select this one right here. We'll hit refresh, and as you can see, it's going to populate all the data for that completed batch. Select another one, and you can see 3684, here is the completed data. So a quick, simple, and effective way for building a dynamic batch report.